Hi, I'm Dave from The Titanium Geek and welcome to this week's video on a Zwift hack that will get you into the new Zwift French courses. So imminently, Zwift are releasing two new routes, Paris and France, or you could call them worlds. So to many of us, Paris is the capital of France, but to Zwift, they're two different places. Who knows, and lots of us in Britain know sometimes how people in America think Wales is part of England, but never mind, never mind. So these courses, they've been built into Zwift already. They are accessible, but you have to know the hack. And Zwift have done an amazing job of teaming up with ASO, the Tour de France organizers, and they're holding numerous events around what would have been happening now, the Tour de France 2020. Yes, it's happening later in the year, but in reality, it should have been happening now if it isn't what well, these horrible things are happening in 2020 with the pandemic. So this is a great thing Zwift are putting on and there are pro rides and all sorts of things. I've seen you've seen all about it and you'll see the videos that Zwift have done about the courses look amazing. And what's great is when you look at these courses, you can see on this video that every bit is good as in their adverts. They are fantastic. So the dev team have done a brilliant job. Some people have said that the Champs LCs looks too cluttered with Zwift banners and that's a fair comment. Um, they've really got a point there. Otherwise, it's great. Something we noticed that we were running along on the course, or the virtual runner on the course, is when you're running between tarmac and cobbles, there's a really funny, strange sound. And it's really the sound of a bike rattling and tyres going over cobbles. Where, of course, having run from tarmac to cobbles in real life, with running shoes on, there's not really that much difference. So that's just, just a little side issue for the dev team at Zwift, and I'm sure they'll get that sorted out. So all in all, this is a real top development from Zwift. And you know, it really is brilliant. We take a virtual hats off to the development team, as I said. And I'm sure, like us, you can't wait to get to the top of on two on this when the course is released, or if you use the hack. Um, current stage one of the Etap de Tour was fantastic. One thing about that, of course, though, it was only just a, a normal route to the sky. Um, well, to the to the huge mast, not route to the skies, the Alp. Yeah, the other one, up to the big tower. So we all did that. It was fantastic. It was great, but it wasn't France. It wasn't a France course. So this this is going to be fantastic. We're going to get on there. So these these events we're going to have the next, next few weekends are going to take us on these new French routes, which is brilliant. At the time of doing this, there's probably been 100, 150 people who've been seen on Zwift doing the French courses who've managed to do the hack. Um, as I say, we'll have the details of that below. And just one last thought. If you are actually a massive fan of riding mountains and you want to do some of the famous climbs of the Grand Tours, including the Tour de France, you don't need to do any hacks whatsoever. You can check out the Emerging Zwift competitor, RGT, and you can get into there and they've got an absolute abundance of famous ascents you can just go on and ride. It can be a little bit glitchy and we'll do a separate review on getting into RGT at some point in the future, but genuinely, great place to go and ride all the climbs. We're really trying to build this channel and we really need your help and your support is massively appreciated. So please, please check out the Titanium Geek website, the link's below. And also, please subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads that we do to the channel. So thanks ever so much for watching, ride on.